Good morning, everybody. We're going to make some banana pudding this morning. We're going to start with, in my bowl here, I have two large boxes of Jell-O Instant Pudding. Vanilla flavored. I use vanilla flavored when I make banana pudding. I have six cups of milk and one container of Cool Whip. So you're just going to mix that all up in your bowl here. And in my pan right here, I've already put vanilla wafers and I've chopped up one banana. So let's just get this mixed up and then we're just going to layer this down. And start layering it up. All right, that'll be good for the first layer. Layer that up. Then we're going to add more cookies, more bananas. Stir this up just a little bit more. Go ahead and put your more cookies down. More banana. This is, uh, I'm using the instant pudding, so it sets up pretty quick. And by adding Cool Whip to it, it makes your pudding light and fluffy and not heavy and thick. So it's very good if you've never added Cool Whip to your banana pudding. I highly recommend it. All right, next we're going to put some more on here. Another layer. Layer that down. I like a lot of cookies. I don't know if y'all do. That's my favorite part of the pudding, is the cookies. <laughs> All right, let's put a few more cookies down. And we will put one more banana on it, okay? These are nice and the perfectly ripe banana. Get that string off there. Okay, here we go. So I usually use about three, four bananas. You can use whatever you like. You can use as much or as little cookies as you like. All right, now we're just going to cover the rest with the rest of the pudding mix. And it's already setting up. This instant pudding sets up real quick. So you can make uh, this dessert and it will be ready to eat in about 5-10 minutes. So we're just going to cover the, cover the rest of it there. And then I'll show you how we're going to top it off. So just make sure all your bananas and cookies are covered. That way your bananas, they won't turn brown or anything. And I like to make this pretty much in the morning before we're going to eat it. If I'm taking it somewhere, I like my cookies to still be a little bit on the crunchy side. I don't like banana pudding once it sits overnight. All right, so there's that. Now we're going to take the food chopper and I'm going to take a few cookies. Let me get my towel here. We're going to take a few cookies and decorate the top with it. 
So just take the food chopper, put it upside down like that. Chop a few cookies up. And this is what's going to make it pretty. All right, now we're just going to take this and just splash these on the top. It makes it look real pretty, real fancy. If you don't have a food chopper, you can just crush them in a little baggie or something. So I like to do it like this, and it just, just makes your banana pudding look pretty. All right. There you have it, y'all. Banana pudding.